Hi, my name's Tom Brooks and welcome to a quick video short. This time we're taking a look at the stage payment bonus pack. Now, I started here on the chart section of the software um, for a particular reason and that is that the build phase cost, well, the costings produced by the bonus pack all feed from the planning chart here. So when you want to uh, produce listings uh, of the build phases and what you're charging for them, this is where you want to start. Once you're happy with this, you can go to the report section and you can go to word printouts and stage payment calculator. Now we have various options here. We can build at the start and end of build phases. Now this is quite convenient to allow you to get the materials in at the beginning of phase and charge for the labour at the end, as well as at the same time then getting the money for the start of the next build phase material wise. This allows you to plan the project ahead uh, cost wise so you can project the cash flow and also allows the customer to know what's expected of them and what they need to pay as and when if they want the project to continue on schedule. You also have the option now to bill at regular intervals so you could say uh, 30 days and the start date for that there. Now as you can see coming up on my screen uh, whenever you hover over a section there you get a little help section to basically describe what you're filling in. At the moment I'm going to go at the start and end of build phases. Now we also have some options here for inflation, retentions and defects liability. Now before we go into that we can click sales price including inflation. So if you include inflation in this just tick that. If not, leave unticked and you can ignore it. We have an interim bill retention there, so enter the percentage of the interim bills that the customer will retain. The retention the retention is the amount held back by the customer until the project is finished. Now if you want full payment on each phase, you can leave that at zero. But you can have a final bill retention of say 10%. So the final 10% of the bill is held by the customer until all uh, snagging and uh, any revisions have been made. Once all happy, they can pay at the final bit of the bill. Also there's a defects liability period um, option there. So you can say six months completion, 12 months or have learned. Um, say customers probably won't want that. But at least it got the option in there that you can set that in there. Also you can customize your opening paragraph. Now this prints out as a word so you can still change it if so needed. But this allows you just to uh, drop in what you want the header to be there. As it, you see there, based on the project projected build program, the following stage payments will become due. Any changes to the build program may affect the payment profile. So it just lets the customer know as they're reading it that if something does drastically change, uh, that the payment dates may change again. Now this works up for that. You can go back to the software here, change the uh, dates in the chart. So if you are set back, say, by two, three weeks on a certain section, not for your own fault, it could be uh, that another work has to take place for the customer that has to do first, you can change and produce some of the bill for them if needed. Now, once we've got the terms out, we can go to the settings. This allows us to bill what's at the start date of a phase, so we can get the materials in. We can even bill for the sundry at the beginning of a phase. We can go for each phase individually and change this. We can also, as well, have the option to bundle the phases together so everything's charged for at the end of a certain phase. So I can say, foundations are built at the end of oversight slabbing. For the moment, I'm going to leave that there, but it does mean you can group items together, especially if they're phases that run alongside each other. And once we're happy with what we've uh, got set here on, on these options, we can go to the preview and take a look at what the costs are coming out like there. So as you can see, labour costed from the beginning of the three phases, but as they're all completing, and the labour charge is there, you see that coming up there. First, siting of foundations is the material, second, for siting is for the labour plant and subcontract. Once you're happy with what you've got here, all you need to do now is click print. This will come up now in Word. You can make any final changes to the wording as needed. As you can see there, our little templates come through. All needs to be done now is print this off for the customer, print one off for yourself for reference, 
and you are done. Okay, that's that for now. If any questions, please uh, give the support uh, team a call on 0845 1234 085 and we'd be more than happy to answer your questions there. Thank you.